Well, I wonder, but did he just come out of the pits? He just came he out of the pits, pits just a moment ago. He was in the armpit road with the six car and the nine car, and it looks like he's trying to get up to speed. I think that's what the situation was. It does take a long time to get these cars up to speed. He had taken the lead as a result of uh, staying out on the track while others hit it. He should be up to speed by uh, now, so uh, something that us. Something is amiss with Michael Walker's car. Yeah, he is not back to running nearly like he was before. And we are being told they have two members in the uh, Sitco Superguard team for Jeff Burke over the wall too soon. That was the reason for the 15-second hold by NASCAR a moment ago for Jeff Burke on pit road. He is now 18 and a half seconds behind the leader, who is Bill Elliott. He does have a drafting partner now in the way of of the 50 car of Ricky Craven. There you see the cars that pitted just a moment ago. Michael Waltrip. And Mark Marcus, who walks Boo Whitaker, the rear tire changer on Joe Nemechek's car. He just put two tires on in there. Mm -hmm. Had yeah, to stand there. Had to stand there long enough to, to put yeah. two more on. Wait for it to get full of gas. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Did you ever find out who's going to who's carrying the tires for Boo Whitaker? <clears throat> Whoa! Oh, I thought that was uh, <laughs> scared me too when I saw it. he drove it up there. Mm -hmm. I thought he was sliding up there. Oh, that's Earnhardt. No wonder. <laughs> Ooh -hoo. Well, that's Park trying to catch his his boss. Might have hung himself out the dry. No, he's got with Earnhardt. Maybe. Now Burton's falling almost 20 seconds behind now, so he doesn't. <clears throat> Summarizing pit stops. Neil, did you ever find who's the tire carrier for Boo Whitaker? Thank you. Thank you. to Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama. I'm Jerry Punch along with Ned Jarrett, Benny Parsons, John Kernan, Ray Dunlap, and Bill Weber bringing you exciting live action of the 32nd running of the Winston 500 presented by UPS. There are 37 cars on the in the lead draft. The 37th place car of Stacy Compton is three seconds behind the leader, Bill Elliott. But Jeff Burton, here he is with Rick Mask in the green number 14, Burton in the middle, and Ricky Craven in the red number 50. They are more than 20 seconds behind the leader and losing ground every lap. In fact, they were only 21 seconds this last time back. Take a look at our cold pit summary. If you just joined us, we've had green flag pit stops between lap 47 and 51. Elliott, great pit work in first, out first. Earnhardt lost seven spots. Earnhardt Jr., that is. Earnhardt Sr. lost 10 spots. Kenseth gained quite a bit, and Ricky Rudd, basically a wash. He lost one spot coming out. Dale yeah, Earnhardt, the three car, is up on the outside, but he's trying to get down to the inside, trying to, he said, come on, dear son, let me in, let me in the bottom lane. Will you let me in? He said, let's go down the road. Right. Well, 
we saw Rusty Wallace come down pit road basically by himself, although the 50 was there. They had to come down on that lap, which was 49, because they weren't sure, 100% sure, they could get to lap 50. They didn't want to run out. They had to come early that time to find out. John? Keep an eye on Ward Burton. He's running. He was running in the fourth spot last time he came by uh, the pit road area, but his water temperature is reading at 200. 80 degrees, so his crew chief Tommy Baldwin said every now and then kind of get out of the draft a little bit to get some air into the radiator to cool things off. And Tommy also said, Bud, don't worry about it because everybody's running a little bit hot here. And also Michael Waltrip, when he left pit road, a little bit of problem getting up to speed as we could see and we documented. Talked to his crew chief Bobby Kennedy. He said, I don't know if there's a problem. Uh, Michael didn't tell me there was a problem, but he did come up to speed pretty slowly, but everything looks like it's okay now. To Ray Dunlap. Well, John, Johnny Benson came in, had a real good pit stop from Jay Minson's crew. This car he's driving today, the first time out in the year 2000, when Johnny went to get off of pit road, he said, I just lost second gear. That doesn't matter when they're racing right now, but next time he comes down for a pit stop, could be a big problem for Benson, who now does not have second gear. I, I'm surprised that Michael Walter, now his car is up to speed. It looks like that, that he had lost a soda, something that happened, but... Now back up speed, and Earnhardt is trying everything he knows to get back up to the front. He's working his way. He's right beside Joe Nemechek. He was tempted to cut the last two in the fifth or sixth position. And Bill Elliott is showing the way. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville, Georgia. This is the car Bill Elliott debuted at Daytona in July in the Pepsi 400. They nicknamed it Mac Mama. He led twice for 42 laps at Daytona in July got Tampa behind on another car. Spawn hit the wall, finished 38. They rebuilt this car and felt like this would be one of the cars to beat today. And indeed, he's showing here early on. Look at that 14 lead changes among nine different drivers. As Earnhardt in the three and the 33 of Minichek get side by side, it allows those cars in front of them that's lined up in a line to pull away from by just a little bit. But that's not a big problem. As soon as Earnhardt and Nemechek settles this dispute for fifth, they'll get behind and push back that quickly. I think that's what that uh, front four there are hoping that they'll continue to race side by side back there. Just simply can't pull away. But you're right. I think even if they lose uh, half a straightaway, I think they'd still be able to catch back up. Jerry Joe Nemechek done a pretty good job of working his way back after being shuffled early on. Good pit work in the pits for the crew down there, the Oakwood Holmes crew. And now he's trying to battle his way back side by side with Earnhardt. A little bit of a push from behind by Ricky Rudd. Scott Pro is also doing a good job in the 32 car. He started back quite a ways. Started back 35th, but now he's been shown 12th last time by. Different colors on that tied car this week. That's got the, the Crimson Tide colors. We're in Alabama, so they got Roll Tide on some of that car. For those of you who are football fans, you saw Alabama roll on ESPN in our coverage on Saturday night primetime, and they had a huge win over Ole Miss, and now that's what Scott Pruitt would like to do is gain some momentum with those colors in his car in front of this partisan Alabama crowd. Bill Earnhardt took a look up on the outside of Dale Jarrett, but he just couldn't muster enough speed to pull up there. He's got Dave Marcus behind trying to help him get to the front. And I talked about the everyone was concerned about the Chevrolets driving away, but right now we have Ford in first and third and a Pontiac in second. And Earnhardt, the first Chevrolet, battling for fifth with another Pontiac. So right now, the makes is pretty well, are pretty well balanced. And I still cannot, I am so excited for Dave Marcus and all those wonderful Dave Marcus fans who've got to be enjoying his run here today. Marcus hanging on back in seventh position. If you look down from high above Talladega at that 4,000 foot back straightaway. Let's check in down in the Jeff Burton pits with Bill Webber. Well, as you guys in the booth pointed out, the 99 car was penalized for one man going over the wall too soon. Watch this video. There are two Heavy Sitco bill. cars on the track. One is Elliott Sadler, one is Jeff Burton. What happens here as they come down pit road, you see even our camera guy almost followed the wrong Sitco car. The Jackman looked at the 21 instead of the 99 and started to go over the wall, only put one foot over, but then
then that's what resulted in the penalty. The two cars looking very similar coming down pit road.